Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome back to Pocket Mirror. Previously in Pocket Mirror, we entered the Mirrored World, where we did some simple puzzles and got killed repeatedly. Okay, last time we died horribly. So I think we got Excadaddle a lot faster. Don't miss what side do you come from? This way, this way, left. Keep going, keep going, there's something fell. Quad Messer and Gaibel. There are T. What are these? Exactly. It's so dark. I can't see clearly. I wonder if there's any other items I can miss in there. I. Everything's got a letter, right? G.I. Good, we got some light. Shh. Shh. Don't make so much noise. Everyone's asleep. Oh, I'm so sorry. I can't get past the pumpkins. I can, I guess? It looks like... Floor, but apparently it's wall. This looks like a dining room where I get served as the meal. Darkness is where I feel most comfortable. I won't ask any questions. They won't, they won't try to understand you either. Oh boy! Pumpkin coins! Don't throw me in a pumpkin pie! Hmm. I bet these items I'm acquiring are based- are gonna affect an ending, that's my guess. This isn't a real door. It's painted on the wall. Maybe this one's real? I can't begin to read you. These look so yummy. There's even an apple strudel. I guess it's a mini. <gasps> oh, okay. Come we eat with us, Alice. We know what's good for you. Yes, eat. I hate the person who cut on this face in the mint shell. I'm a very down-to-earth pumpkin. I don't want to be grinning all the time. The queen is preparing a surprise for us, huh? But who's the queen? Pumpkin charms. It must be for a post-game unlock. There's someone sitting here. Such an produce Mind your manners, you rude hussy. I I'm sorry. Hm. As long as you've learned your lesson. Oh, okay. Get out of your chair as soon as I sit down. Good evening, everyone, and thank you very much for attending my welcoming dinner party. Oh god, it squeaks. We shall celebrate our guest's arrival with a toast. You're that one of the funny hat I saw earlier in the drawing. A pretty good in the desserts. Yay, sweets. She's looking at me. And who you might you be? Uh, I'm... Silence! What might be you be doing here? Am um, I... Silence! There's only one way to know. Answer correctly and you may stay. But dare get it wrong and everyone knows what will happen. Wait, please... Shush. Tell me, little girl. 
What would be my order to tonight's dinner party? I should have been talking to everybody. Let's look for clues. Surprise. Let's see. Pumpkin flan. Just with the luck dessert. Ah, uh, yes. Do you want advice? Maybe I ain't. Sure. It's not the Queen's favorite cookie cups. Thank you, miss. Menu. Royal apple strudel, caramel pumpkin dot to lick creme, marvelous dream cake, the Queen's favorite cookie cups. What if they lie, though? Smooth pumpkin mousse, pumpkin flan. Specialty secret deluxe dessert. I got pumpkin charms. Why are you so angry at me, pumpkin? Why are you going to show up like that? Hilarious. I very much like our queen. She's truly kind. My only hints are it could be the opposite of what the one said. Or it's the world deluxe. Let's see what options we have. So, which one is it? I think it's... Secret Deluxe Dessert? Oh. I bet... I hope that's not me. Why, thank you, little girl, for the most delightful treat. Did I get it right? Oh, you most certainly did. Oh, God. Oh, God! <laughs> Wait, please. <laughs> Damn trick questions! Oh? Did I get it right? I see you're not as ignorant as you look. Thank you all for attending my special dinner party. I expect to see you all tonight's dancing party. And as for you, my child. You were invited as well. I shall certainly enjoy as much as such a smart girl's presence at my special event. Thank you. I shall not take my leave. Damn trick questions. Always with a grim dark. A white, slimy mixture lays on the ramekin, sprinkled with dark spots. Drink me. I can't fit for the door. Oh, I wonder. Door disappeared. What just happened? I'm gonna be chased by giant spiders. Everything got bigger. That's because you and Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland. Copyright Tim Burton's Don't Do Me Depp. Welcome to the girl. I'm Johnny Depp. Wrong game, Johnny Depp. Are these candles? Candles float eerily close to the ground. Floating backwards, their flames only millimeters away from burning the ground. What is that? Oh god. Like a moth to a flame. Wait, I'm alive. Where am I? Great, I'm at a furry convention. 
My dream is to become a famous pianist. Do you think I could do it? <laughs> yes, definitely. I haven't seen save points in forever. It really disturbs me. We're better for tonight's party. What do you think of our dancing, miss? <laughs> it's wonderful. You two look very elegant. Well, thank you very much. This is Utopia. There's a fox and a rabbit. It's Utopia, Utopia Con. <laughs> By the way, you're pestering us. I'm so sorry. Would you like to come dance with us? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know how to dance. That's a shame. We're all trying our best to please Queen Angliet. Hopefully one of us will be chosen as a bed dancing couple of the night. I wish you all good luck. Thank you, miss. Now this game is like a mixture of Alice in Wonderland and the Labyrinth. It's just so pretty. I've never seen floating pink candles before. Hi, what's up? The severed head of a plush toy fox. Hey, go party, huh? Is that how you dress for Queen Elegant's dancing party? <laughs> These are the only clothes I have. For now. Severed head of a plush toy rabbit. Is he alright? Yes, I'm all right. Thank you, miss. Oh, you can talk. Yes, indeed I can. Although it's a shame I can't dance anymore. What happened? You don't have a body. I was head over tails over this other, like, dancer. But then I lost my head. She really head out of here. I got a really big headache. I say I'm a pain in the neck. It's not a happy tale, miss. Are you sure you want to listen? If it's alright with you. Take a seat, then. This might take a little while. Yes. Where's my save point? In the past, Mr. Fox and I were the best dancers in the whole kingdom. We quickly became the Queen's favorite couple, and we would dance for her every day. Because we were the star of every dance party, we were even invited to dance for Queen Anglet's most precious friend. Next thing we know, everyone had become jealous, even the envious of our talent. I see, so it was dancing with the stars Utopia style. One night after one of the Queen's biggest dance parties, we were ambushed in the dressing room by the other dancers. Ambushed? Apparently we were too perfect. Didn't even leave them any chance to be recognized by the Queen. That's the excuse they used to rip our bodies apart. They hid our limbs, leaving only our heads behind. So we would catch some dance in our place. Or watch. That's horrible. And there it is. Is there any way I can help you out? I believe there isn't much you could do, miss. I don't know where they've hidden our bodies. They could be anywhere. I might be able to get them for you, Mr. Rabbit. I'm an expert at fighting body parts. That you could. But how are you planning to do so? I believe it's worth a try. Please let me help you. You're a truly kind lady, miss. They know your name. Um. I'm sorry, Mr. Rabbit. I don't seem to know my own name. But I'll definitely help you and Miss Fox. Thank you, Miss, and please, if you run to by any chance, please do tell everything's gonna be alright. <laughs> you can leave that to me. It's gonna be alright. Okay. The bows are moving on their own. It's just like the piano we had at home. Oh boy, pumpkin sharps! I still can't see my own reflection. What? Am I even real? What is real? Where's my save points? One of these doors unlocked. Probably the left one. There you are. I need your help, desperately. Yes, how can I help you? You see, last Tuesday I won the Kingdom's Lottery and the Queen gave me a shiny coin for use on that machine around the corner but I can't seem to be able to use it. Oh. She let me do it for you. If you don't mind, I've ended the coin beneath my leaves. <laughs> this one, right? Yes, yes, it's that one. You said, miss, I want to see what my prize is. <laughs> I 
Surprise of death. Oh, something came out. What is it? What is it? Let's see. A fancy ribbon. Oh, it's a ribbon. A ribbon. <laughs> it's really cute. You don't like it? Looks just like mine. I do. But I'm a boy. Don't worry about it. I can't use my ribbon. Yes, you can. There, see? Looks pretty on you, Mr. Pumpkin. It does? There are no more here mirrors here, so I can't tell. Leave that to me. <gasps> Pumpkin Senpai. Doshio. <laughs> see? You're right, miss. Thank you. You're welcome, Mr. Pumpkin. He looks really happy. I wonder if that was just purely to see that CG. Great surprises await you in this room. I'm gonna... I'm gonna pick this box. This box is locked shut. Oh, okay. One minute. Well, hello there, miss. Would you like to play a game with us? You scared me. What kind of game is it? A game where you die. I mean, prizes! Well, hello there, miss. Would you like to play a game with us? Alright. Tell me the answer to this next riddle and you will be highly rewarded. Should you come upon any trouble, don't hesitate to ask the ringmaster. Yes? At his own funeral did Matthias see, gathered by the open grave, his family of three. Father, mother, and brother, and a couple more who didn't bother. Okay. Sounded kind of literal. As own funeral did Matthew see, gathered by the open grave, his family of three. Father, mother, and brother, and a couple more who didn't bother. Well, if they didn't bother, does that mean they didn't arrive at the funeral? And do we count Matthias? Might be six. Because Mafius. You're counting him also, I guess. And the couple Bobber. I guess are literally there. Here's the next reel. Three times did Ma Mary poke my eye. Three times did she make me cry. Now tell me, little girl, how many times did I wish for her to die? Poke. Oh. Die. Could be literal at three. Or it could be six again. No, it wouldn't be six again. Because here's six right here, right? Is it really free? These riddles are actually easier than I think. Here's the next riddle. Is yellow, blue, red, and green? No one can reach it, not even the queen. Yellow, blue, red, and green. No one can reach even the queen. So no answer to this one. Like, are these colors in? Is this gonna be yellow, blue, Red and green. I'm impressed. Here's the next riddle. Yellow, blue, red, and green. I actually still don't understand that riddle fully. 
I debated if it was the sky, so like blue. But whatever. Caprina and Valentina were born on the 12th of September. One mysterious as the moon, the ever cursed of short temper. On the day Valentina turned two, Caprina was half her age. Years have passed filled with turmoil and rage. The day she turned ten, but it was a long one. Valentina remembered her sister of sorrow. How many years would I be her eldest had she lived to number tomorrow? They don't age in the cases. On the 12th of September, we don't say the year, but it's the same exact month, so it's only years. On the day Valentina turned two, Catherine was half her age, so she was one. How many years would she be her eldest had she lived in her tomorrow? She was half her age, so she was born a year earlier. She will have only been one year her eldest. It's not as if you're correct or anything. Here's the next riddle. Don't be so soon, Ray Clown. Having placed her five big dishes in the window ledge to cool, Miss Elizabeth handed out town to my pretty boxes and ribbons wrapped them up. Well, did she know that while she was away, a robber had come and eaten two of them, followed by a stray dog who ate another. Once Miss Elizabeth came back, she was gutted to know the disaster that had occurred. How many dishes were saved on that dreadful day? Five. Now there's three left. Should be two left, right? Really? Maybe I'm looking at this question wrong and it's actually... How many did she save to be cooled? So be five. Wow. Bingo! That was a tricky wording. Here's the next riddle. Two books rest on the shelf. One is upside down, the other is backwards. So tell me, little girl, what is the sum of the first page in each book? The sum of first page of each, maybe it would be two? Yeah. Because you're adding the pages together. Small girl, big brains. Here's the next riddle. How many things I have to do? On a dreadful night illuminated by a bright full moon, our love flourished like a flower in bloom. With a poisonous kiss and a winning crescent, did I take your essence in the necrophagous ravishment? What? Paved in the falling darkness, did I dig your grave? Putting you to rest in the final farewell, your body did I crave. On a waxy moon, I had my punishment. But you in heaven and hell, did I dwell in confinement? Is that... None of those answers were a number. Was it really just talk to the clown we first talked to? Correct! Here's the final riddle. Damn clowns. I am all-powerful and mighty. Going through doors is my specialty. Many in these twisted halls will stand. But fear not, my girl, have me in hand. For with a gentle touch I can I undo the restraints cast upon you. A roasted chicken! Good job, miss. You're one truly smart girl. As I promised, here is your reward. Dazzling key. Uh, thank you, mister. But where am I supposed to use this key? Oh, well, I wouldn't know. I found it on the floor the other day. Later! Be kind and caring for your opponents will tend to be rather daring. Clown? Yeah. Yes? I have one more for riddle with you. Would you care to listen? Is it the one with no answer? It might be a trap. Go ahead. What gets broken without being held? I'm sorry, but I'll need time to think on that one. Worry not, little girl, for that riddle's answer does not belong to me. It belongs to you. What do you mean? 
Mister, don't break my mirror. There's still no close up finding the right body parts. Good evening, miss. Have you possibly met before? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I'm sorry. I see. That's a shame. Because I would totally carve your pumpkin. I'm sorry, mister. But I don't have any pumpkins with me right now. It's alright, man. I'm sorry, Barbie. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye. Thank you. Okay. Sally. I guess I'm just not good enough. What's wrong, miss? Oh, it's nothing. You're too young for this kind of thing. No pumpkins allowed. Oh boy! Shh, buddy. Oh yeah, I'll play chess. Just don't tell anyone. Yes, I am pretty. Listen, do you happen to know how to sew? Yes, I do. How did you know? Don't be silly. Of course I didn't. I have a way you can have this. Thank you, miss. All of these people are completely uneducated. Can you believe most of them don't know how to read? Pathetic. Okay. Three mirrors. Have you heard the rumors? They say Miss Fox has slipped into an eternal slumber due to what happened. Oh, I love stories with unhappy endings. What a horrible thing to say. Oh, this maid uniform looks a lot like the ones at home. Oh boy! They always tell me to turn around when they're changing clothes. It's so unfair! They're moving. Go for the red one first, I guess. Weird. They're broken. That's what you get. What do I get? Oh no. What happened? Mr. Pumpkin, what happened here? Mother hands came flying, he was so scary. Yes, everyone. The corpse was reduced to a pool of blood and stuffing. Hey, look, there's a leg. It was quite a show, miss. You should have been here to watch. Two corpses lay in a pool of bloody stuffing. Although they're completely torn apart, their hands are still joined in a firm grip. Are they holding hands? Maybe the red door was bad. It's gonna be a slaughterhouse in here. Oh boy. There's something strange inside. Don't you dare give me into the gods. You're alive. Is there anyone looking for me out there? I don't know. I desperately need your help. You're the only one who can help me. Alright. I need to go outside and tell me, back, tell me what's going on. Could you do that? I'll try. I thought this puzzle was going to be about rearranging the couple all nice and cozy, but this is just evil. A very dangerous fugitive dancer is wanted by the Royal Guards. Anyone who turns them in will receive two lollipops as a reward. Don't get our way. These are Queen Aglet's orders. Mm, there's guards here at least.
Hey miss, what are you doing? I, I was just... A little girl like yourself should be wandering around in a place like this. I'm sorry, just... Looking for a fugitive dancer. Have you seen her by any chance? That fox. You have. Where is she? Inside the cabinet and tea room. Guards, you hurt her. But please don't hurt her. You may make a bad move. Maybe the guards killed everybody. There you are, you murderer. You traitor! What did you give me in? I... I will never forgive you. A worker is done, man. Let's get back to report to Queen Angelette. I'm sorry. I have no choice. I am so sorry. At least I'm well armed. I'm like you. Hey man, at least we're King Ling's. Fox leg, fox arm. Any more fox limbs around here? I don't think so. Kind of loose torso. A whole fox torso missing its legs and arms. The leg, arm, and torso. Are they a pair or are they? That's the question, isn't it? Blood world sucked. So let's see what happens if we give them. Miss Fox. You might leave those here for a bit. She looks sad somehow. We need some rabbit parts. Now let's see if actually we need doubles of limbs. I know how so. No, I can't do that yet. Each one of these worlds is just me being finding limbs. <laughs> Queen's here. Too bad I'm stuck fixing the wall. It's a very special day. The Queen has just arrived. I think. I wonder if these are mirrors at different periods of time. What's going on here? I'm just here to watch them all be executed. That's an awful thing to say. Like the one time a murderer went around killing everybody, and every time when the queen arrives. I'm having a weird deja vu. What's deja vu? It's when stupid people ask ignorant questions. I still can't take you serious with the squeaks. Thank you all for attending this very special ceremony. You have all given your best, but as you know, only one of you can become my favorite couple. All the other ones who don't make it will be executed. Executed? Who dares interrupt my ceremony? I I'm... I'm just... Silence. See this? Vaguely, this character looks like Charlotte, I think the name was, from Baguka. That's what I'm reminded of, especially the eyes. Who are you? Where did you come from? What are you doing at my ceremony? 
We won't meet for a very long time. And then you're gonna try to murder me. I I'm just looking for something. Oh, and what might that thing be? Um, I'm looking for... Let's be honest. Such a gruesome quest for such a fragile looking girl. Come closer, my girl. I shall aid you in your request. Thank you. You're more than welcome, miss. You're gonna cut my limbs off. That's how your logic always works. Hold out your hand for me. Oh, God. All right. Here, you can have this one, miss. It was rather easy to obtain. Something I lost. I see. That's unfortunate. Take a seat, my girl. I will let you look for whatever it is that you've lost after my ceremony. Oh, thank you. I'll just root for you to win so everyone else dies. You two are... It's no use living if we don't win. We're grateful for this execution. Is this the couple I'm trying to restore their limbs? Hmm. I wonder. Maybe we don't know the full story about them. Where do I sit? Over here? No, I shall announce the winning couple. Which is... Mr. Rabbit and Mrs. Fox. Which one? How can you even tell? Damn, no where everyone else is jealous. Congratulations to the winners. You may step aside. Help us step aside. As for all you failures, you shall be executed. You can't just murder everyone. Soldiers, march. Wait. Farewell, my servants. You have served me well. No! Don't get involved. This is not our business. We don't know the rules of this land. As crazy and insane as they may be. But really, I just want to save my own skin. Now that's taken care of, it's time for tea! As for you... Clean up this mess before leaving, will you? Or else. Yes, I will. Squeak, squeak, he's <laughs> murder, squeak. You ain't sneak up on anybody anytime soon. The couple's bodies lie torn apart. Their expressions forever frozen in moments of terror felt before their executions. Pitch black stuffing slowly oozes from the dancer's wounds, staining their once shiny fur. This is horrible. Rabbit torso. I only got two sit rapid legs. Hey, it's lucky. These guys don't even talk. I wish I could dance like them, but unfortunately I'm just a pumpkin. So this is a backstory thing. Hmm. I wonder if the one fox was a murderer. Makes you wonder if I'm doing the right thing. Or they were part of the group that was murdered. Quite possibly. I drop off my limbs. There you go. I think that's actually all of your limbs. And I go get the last set of limbs.
Let's see what this world is like. Come closer, little girl. Come closer. I have a big secret to tell you. What is it, Mr. Pumpkin? I'm actually... Yes? A squash. A pumpkin. Don't pay attention to that guy over there. He thinks he's comedian. Sounds. Hot dogs. This looks like after an execution. What is going on here? Hey, you. Hey, what might a young girl like yourself be doing here? Can't you see this very important investigation going on right now? Oh, I'm sorry, I was just... Oh, well. It doesn't really matter, to be honest. Tell me now. Do you happen to know how to read? Yes, I do. Great, then you could please read this riddle for me. I killed not one but eight in pairs of two. Clap your hands, you'll be able to see it through. The detective is pretty ignorant. He will never see the answer. Kisses and hugs from the ultimate best dancer. What was that? Who wrote this riddle? Did you read it wrong, you foul-mouthed girl? No, I read exactly what was written there. You know what? I have better things to do than playing detective. Guards, execute them both, I want to go home. No, wait! Good job, guys. Our work here is done. As for you, my girl, you can have this. Great, thanks. Just what I wanted. It's Christmas all over again. Two severed arms. Oh, those, those are limbs. I think I think they might be their limbs. An immense sea of stars lay behind the window, floating softly in a whimsical, never-ending flow. Parts of a couple's bodies lay on the floor, surrounded by crimson blood and stuffing. I feel like you lose your dancers a lot. Hey, pumpkins, you see what went down here? I was sleeping when it all happened. Too bad. Who do you think it was? I'm sure it was Mr. Rabbit and Mrs. Fox. They wouldn't do something like this. I must confess. Confess to what? It wasn't me, I confess. Please just let me write my mum my before you take me in. It wasn't me for sure. I really don't like that detective. Isn't he kind of dumb? Yeah. I gotta just give you the limbs afterwards. Thanks for reading. There you go. Well, that's everyone's limbs. We try to trace something there, assuming I didn't affect the timeline. Then I would go by... They kept winning, so everyone dies. Someone murders everybody, and the original, that fox wasn't caught. I'm gonna assume, like, they're, they're killed in our timeline, but the original, I don't think they were caught. And then they're framed for it, and they're murdered. Should be all the body parts you need, right? We will actually see if she can talk. Better fix Mr. Rabbit first. You're going off a lot of trouble for us, miss. I can't thank you enough. Don't worry, Mr. Rabbit. I'll definitely save you both. Thank you, miss. I've got enough parts for you and Mrs. Fox. Hopefully we can fix you with these. You've gone for so much trouble for us both. I can't thank you enough. I'm just glad I could help you. Tell me, do you know how to sew? <laughs> yes, I do. Will you please sew us back together? I wish to be reunited with my sister Fox. Of course, let me just find something to sew you with. I'll sew you first, Mr. Rabbit. Please do, miss. 
I gotta go and murder everybody here. That's how I foresee it for revenge. They're all done. Can you move? Why, well, yes, indeed I can. That's a relief. I'm so glad. Let's show Mr. Fox next. Yes. I wonder if she'll wake up now. Mr. Rabbit. Mrs. Fox, I'm so happy you're right. I'm so glad. Thank you, miss. We owe you everything. You're welcome. I'm glad you two can dance again. Oh, we're not gonna dance. Here, you can have this. I've kept it since the day the others ripped our bodies apart. That is the key to the feeder. I'm sure it will come in handy. Thank you so much, Mr. Rabbit. Now, Mrs. Fox, would you give me this dance? Yes. Oh, it worked out. It's fine. I just thought this would take a darker turn. I'm so happy I was able to help them. <laughs> well, I can tell usually this is you. And those dance spin moves. 